<clears throat> a 24 year old in Atlanta is living as a merman. It's amazing. Okay, so first of all, his name is Eric Montel and he told BuzzFeed, quote, I've always been a mermaid lover since I could walk and talk. I got my first tail in 2012 and started taking being a professional merman seriously about two years ago. So what he does is he offers his services for like events and parties and he does photo shoots. That name that he offers the services under is Rasta Merman Blix. Love yes. It. And then he also said, I want other people that look like me to know that our skin shouldn't be what stops them from following their dreams and that being a merman has taught me to be free, to not care about what anyone thinks to be like the ocean to just be free and follow your current let's look at some video of eric they would tell me like oh there's no such thing as black mermaids why are you doing this every I mermaid people see got blonde hair blue eyes mm -hmm. and i've even had kids tell me oh well my friend said i can't be a mermaid because i'm black and i'm like no baby don't say that <laughs> that shouldn't make you want to be one yeah. you can be the first my name is Blix, and I'm a gay professional mermaid. I've told a lot of people I eat, sleep, and breathe, and shit. Mermaids, <laughs> mermen, the whole life. It's it's an everyday thing. My family knew I was a merman for a very long time because I used to wrap my feet up in blankets and shape it in a mermaid form. My godmother makes these beautiful full silicone mermaid tails. People told me I was crazy mm -hmm. when I started making these. I lost a lot of friends, actually. These are a few of the molds, and um, they start off with clay. And we do the same thing for the fluke. And then what happens over here? The painting process. Just to see my work and how gracefully they can go through the water in it, and how beautiful they look, how happy it makes them. That's why I do it. That's why I continue doing it. <laughs> when I'm Eric and I'm a two-legger, well, like I like to say, two-legger, <laughs> I feel like I have to deal with regular world issues and problems. But once I put this tail on and my legs are bound and I have this pretty tail, I can just go in the water and just feel like at peace. Being a merman has taught me to just be free, not to care what anyone thinks. Be like the ocean, just be free, follow your own current, no matter what anybody says if you want to wear a tail put on a tail and be a mer if you feel it in your heart no matter what anybody says put that tail on and be a mer yes be a mer thoughts five words or less yes blix make a splash yes blix get your merman life ermagerd a murmur nothing fishy about that yes wow. good for him Good All right. for him. So what do you guys think about being a merman? I think it's great. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I love, I'm I'm here for anything that people give 110% to. He's committed to being yes. a merman. The only thing I want to make sure is that he's moisturizing when he gets out of the pool because black skin gets ashy. But, mm -hmm. um, like, that, that in Atlanta, in the South, you know, there's certain beliefs people, you know, in the South is very hard to, to, two to, -legged, to, two -legged to get things worlds. to do. But Some people will think it's fishy. Oh, for, beyond, I mean, for lack of a better word, so yep. beyond. But he's so, when, when you listen to him talk about that, he's so excited. And just like the, the phrases he used, like, you know, follow your own current. He's and making a living off of it, too. He's a making merman. a living off his passion. What it's more can you hope for? They say he's if you do, you do what you love every day, you'll never work a day in your life, yes, right? Honey, yeah. I'll tell you, talk about work. I was noticing the how it must be to swim in the water. His abs have to be so strong. Oh, yeah. Because it's just like Dolphin this kicks. crazy. Have you ever done that? Sam, you're a swimmer. I was a swimmer. I haven't swam in a long time, but I used to swim. I swam Never in mind then. You don't remember and, it at yeah. all, do you? I haven't swam in like 10, 15 Did years. you ever try to do the mermaid kick? Well, Is yeah, you do it underneath kick? the water before you, you come up to do freestyle, to do butterfly. Yeah, when you dive in, you do dolphin kick, and then you come up and you do freestyle. For butterfly, obviously, you're already doing dolphin kick. For backstroke, you're doing dolphin kick. So, yeah. Really quick I, public I service announcement. That. Swimtails.com is a place you can buy mermaid tails. Nice. Also, finfunmermaid.com and the Mertailer. <laughs> Did you make that up? The Mertailer. M E R T A I L O R. The yeah, Taylor. Yeah, that's brilliant. Do I, have, it. I have a lot of questions about this. Okay. But but I I really like that he's happy mm -hmm. and that he's again making a living off his passion. I think is great. But I, so just pools. That was my one question. As I thought, is it just pools? That seems like you know if you if you mermaid 
be be the mermaid. Go into the water with the fish. Be their friend. Go in, you know, ocean. I don't know if there's any oceans well, in Well, because it might be a that, ha I know. I, I, that's what I was thinking. Is, there? No. So, <laughs> is he relegated to just pools then? Which kind of breaks my heart for him because then he'll never have a flounder, you know? Shut up. <laughs> so, or a dory. <laughs> or, yes, or find a, or find a dory. Uh, what about uh, a saltwater pool? And then he gets a couple <gasps> fish friends. There you that, go. that would be amazing. So that's what I just feel like we need to look at the scope here. And then also... Does he have other mermaid friends? I think so. <laughs> there is a giant mermaid community. For those of you not familiar with the Mermaid World Championships that happened probably two weeks ago now no in way. Germany. Yeah, in Germany. No Germany way! Germany had That's amazing. mermaid swimming world championships. You could qualify for it if you're between the ages of 8 and 100. Wait and a second. People it's, swam. It's I feel like because of my swimming background, I'm and I would have to like retrain. And your German heritage. And my German heritage, I might be a good mermaid. You'd swimmer. be an amazing. Mermaid. I but probably would be. And you're see, cute. But see, those people. Yeah, that helps. Those people that we're talking about are, you know, they are mermaids swimming. It sounds like Blix has like a mermaid identity. Right. So it's a little different. Like it doesn't seem like he's doing it for as a hobby. This as is a like hobby. His life. Yeah. This yeah. is like the a lifestyle. full life transformation. So I just hope that there is a community for him of other people, of like-minded individuals who um, he can hang out with and talk about mermaid stuff. Because uh -huh. it, it struck me a little bit that he seems like a really sweet guy, but maybe a little bit lonely. Well, yeah. You know? Because it's such a, a niche um, lifestyle, you know? Right. But so I... Very pruny fingers. Well, that's what I'm thinking very, because I'm not made yeah, for that. Yeah. Very pruny. And he fingers. had a godmother. His godmother made his tails. I wonder if there's other like mer women and mer men. Do they like compare fashions? Like you know, yeah. my, this is like the 2016 fashion line of mer tails. You let's, know, there's yeah, got to be a, a subreddit. Let's take a moment for Godmama. Mm -hmm. Holy crap! That is like the most involved artistic process I've seen in a while, and it yields She's such talented. amazing results. She's like, talented. Well, it, that that um, harkens back to like drag families as well, because okay. you know, yeah, because drag queens have drag families. You have you know the House of Edwards, the House of Labeja. I mean, oh. well, Labeja is actually voguing in New York, and um, but so that's where that comes from. Like, do you they know, have words like Game of Thrones? Like um, ours is the well, fierce. A lot of the words we use in pop culture come. Are you guys going to watch Paris is Burning? Have you guys seen Paris no. is Burning? Fantastic words like shade. Um, T. Yeah. There's so many words that we use now in, in, in current pop culture that come from that. Yeah. No way. So you have to go rent. I think it's on Netflix. Paris is Burning. It talks about the different um, voguing houses back in the 80s and late 70s. The House Ooh. of Beja. Ooh, the, I can't um, wait. Yeah, it's amazing. Paris is Burning. Paris is Burning. RuPaul actually turned me on to that, but that's where the Godmother. And stuff I remember comes from. RuPaul's song, Don't Be Throwing No Shade. Right. I Just Want to Get Paid. Now, Prance, I believe, Same. is the Yes, next that line. was it. Yeah. Wow. Well, yes. Br Brad. Daily. I, I remember a lot your, of stuff. Your, your, your bottomless pit of awesome information. Definitely a bottomless yeah. pit. Definitely a bottomless pit. <laughs> Not useful information. Um, just a quick shout out to Lada Mueller of Bavaria who took the gold in the highest represented and fiercely contested category of eight to nine year old mermaid swimmers. Wow. I just want to. Do they like, have times? Is it like a 50 meter pool, Sam 25 is meter already pool? already like. I want to know. What's a time regimen? for a 50 meter dolphin? I don't know. It doesn't say right here, but I I'll really want to know because I would, I would like buy your ticket to go do it. That'd yeah. be oh, yeah. so fun. I would love Hell to yeah. see that. I mean, happen. we'd have you with the dopest tail, too, Sam. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah, you will. Yeah, I mean, Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.